it's not what they say sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's what they don't say. In this case, what they don't want to say, but we all know is true, is, oh, a patriotic song makes you right. yeah. conservative, makes you white supremacist. Yeah. So therefore, again, okay, the left hates America. It couldn't be clear. Like, well, it was played at Trump rallies. Barracuda was played at Sarah Palin rallies. Does that mean no one can listen to it? Do you think that it was created for Trump rallies? Or is it because it was a top number one hit, perennial hit? I don't yeah. know for how long. Yeah. And it's a patriotic song. And this guy, who is a judge who is serving his country, is probably a patriotic American. You want to say that any patriotic song is white supremacy. That's why the left wants a different flag. That's why the left wants a different anthem. They absolutely hate the United States of America or they would not be mad that the guy's song is proud to be an American. This is something, I don't know if you've seen this yet, Dave. Gage, gross crew, gauge, gauge, ears, ga guy. gauge ears. Guy who decided to invest gross in creep. gauges in his ears. Uh, he, and this is why, I want to be really clear about this. This is why they want to try you in the court of public opinion. Because we saw Gage Kroskrutz when he was under oath. Mm -hmm. He had to answer, mm -hmm. Kyle Rittenhouse only shot you once you came up on him, once you approached him, once you invaded his space and aimed your firearm at him. And he said, correct, to be clear. Mm -hmm. Now he goes on CNN and he's gone on Good Morning America with that, I don't know, Michael Strand. I guess he's yeah. some kind of a football player. And what's hilarious, uh. I recommend you go watch the entire <laughs> interview because of the selective editing. Like, so what happened? You... I feared for my life, Dockers. You're like, what? What is that? What is that? Whoa. It's so clearly edited by yeah. his lawyer. Hilarious. But it's way better to try you in the court of public opinion. Why? Because you can just lie, unlike being under oath with the threat of perjury. So watch the difference. And the media's been trying to carry the water because they know that they're the losing end of Kyle Rittenhouse here. Watch Gage Kroskrutz, the difference between when he's been on the stand and his recent press tour. There you go. So here, here you're allowed to say whatever you feel like you, you need to say. So you're saying that you actually didn't, you weren't pointing your gun at him. Is that what you're saying? That's absolutely what I'm saying, yes. It wasn't until you pointed your gun at him, advanced on him, with your gun, now your hands down, pointed at him, that he fired, right? Correct. The only way that I could have sustained the injury that I have is if I had been shot with my arms up. It wasn't until you pointed your gun at him, advanced on him, with your gun, now your hands down, pointed at him, that he fired, right? Correct. Well, I think anytime you see your would-be murderer on the stand, it, it, it's emotional. And the defendant had, after murdering Anthony Huber. No uh, the objection is sustained. That whether uh, the death of Anthony Huber was caused by murder or not is for you jurors to decide and not for the witness. Or Michael Strahan <laughs> or Anderson Cooper, I guess. Just as good. Uh, yeah. Are you just going to go on their shows and retract everything you said? Yeah. Because well, oh, I'd have correct. a good mind to beat your ass and dip it in cheese. Hey, it's something else, I tell you. <laughs> The cheese ass. It's a new thing. You know, we talk about cheese head, but I think, uh, young Gage, you might have uh, your head in there is full of uh, is full of cheese inside there. I mean it as a pejorative, you know. <laughs> can we yeah. bring? Can we bring oh, that? Sorry, that let's just bring that up right now. The montage of how base this judge yeah, yeah, yeah. is. Whichever clip that's. Uh, uh, I don't know which one it is. Here I got it. I think. Got it. Clip four. Okay. All right, bring this up. I've just loved this judge. Chocolate syrup, cassava, melon, and. Uh a Playboy model, Marley Renfro, were enlisted to create an iconic scene in this film. It's a trivia game. What is Psycho? <laughs> Heard of it. I, I was astonished <laughs> when you began your examination by commenting on the defendant's post-arrest silence. That's basic law. It's been basic law in this country for 40 years, 50 years. I have no idea why you would do something like that. And it gives... Um, He's just uh, smiling. Well, I'll, yeah. I'll leave it at that. The actions that I had talked about. There it is. <laughs> were done in bad faith. My good faith feeling this morning after watching that testimony was you had left the door open a little bit, now we had something new, and I was going to probe it. I don't believe you. <laughs> there better not be yeah. another incident. I'll take the motion under advisement. To the extent that if there's no... And again. <laughs> Pardon me? That was before the Don't defendant's testimony. Don't get brazen with me. Oh, oh, oh. Uh, I, uh, you knew very well. You know very well that an attorney can't go into these types of areas when the judge has already ruled without asking outside the presence of the jury to do so. So don't give me that. 
Anything else? What's that you want to say? Uh, let's hope for one o'clock. I don't know. The uh, hope the Asian food isn't coming. It's on. Isn't on one of those boats in Long uh, Long Beach Harbor. Um, but let's uh, aim for one o'clock. And by the way, there was some anti-Asian defamation league representative. Oh, like this up. is deeply uh, offensive. Stop it. There's nothing even remotely that could be. In other words, if that's offensive, let's just all start being incredibly racist again. I guess. <laughs> Right. What's he, the point? He basically wow. said, "I hope our food right. isn't on a container rotting away." Yeah, it's a Joe Biden joke. It's delayed. a Joe Biden joke. Yeah, it's like, come on, I, yeah. I don't understand why. For, are they mad that he said that, or that he said Asian food? I guess Asian, Asian food. Food. It's racist. To what eat are we supposed to say? Chicken. I mean, isn't it if it's Asian food from the Orient? Yes, <laughs> I think it's that's a, a rug, pal. <laughs> yes. Yeah. I just, I, I don't, yeah. Uh, can, we, can we go back to Gage's comment? He goes, the only way physiologically or whatever he said that I could receive the wound is if my hands were up. And I'm like, that would work, Gage, unless we didn't have like footage and pictures. Yeah. And you even commenting on the footage and pictures. And yeah. I will say uh, though, it was yeah, just- Yeah, your hand <laughs> was up. The bullet moved yeah. it yes. that way. <laughs> no, it was, it, I mean, like, it just, it blew my mind. And it mind. just so happens to be happenstance that the blew part of the arm that Kyle shot made it so that he couldn't let go I of know. the gun. Yeah. He's like, yeah. ah, there are cameras. Ah, 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 I can't. Ah, ah. Like a turtle when it bites on your finger. <laughs> yeah. ah, Exactly. Turned into a Jim Varney. Yeah, just ah! yeah. <laughs> and Anderson Cooper just guns on his that. nose. Yeah. <laughs> just ah, Anderson Cooper just is like, oh, hmm, that's very oh, interesting. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I'm like, oh my, what world are we living in where this is th this? And guy by the way, they've been saying he's a white supremacist. The judge, just yeah. to be clear, it's like, oh hey, thanks, thanks leftists. This is very. It's not what they say sometimes. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it's what they don't say. In this case, what they don't want to say, but we all know is true, is oh, a patriotic song. Makes you right. yeah. conservative, makes you white supremacist. Yeah. So therefore, again, okay, the left hates America. It couldn't be clear. Like, well, it was played at Trump rallies. Barracuda was played at Sarah Palin rallies. Does that mean no one can listen to it? Do you think that it was created for Trump rallies? Or is it because it was a top number one hit, perennial hit? I don't yeah. know for how long. Yeah. And it's a patriotic song. And this guy, who is a judge who is serving his country, is probably a patriotic American. You want to say that any patriotic song is white supremacy. That's why the left wants a different flag. That's why the left wants a different anthem. They absolutely hate the United States of America, or they would not be mad that the guy's song is proud to be an American. It would be a non-issue if they didn't revile people who are proud to be American. Yeah. Are you getting the picture? No offense, but it sounds like some fucking commie gobbledygook. <laughs> uh, offense taken. Oh. That is perfectly said, though. I couldn't agree more. Yeah, like if I see an American flag pin, I'm like, oh, he's either president or he's a conservative. Yeah. Oh, I always just think that's clearly a Nazi. Yes, <laughs> that's what I go to. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, he had a he had a tie that was American flag tie, and had a bunch of little American flags. And I saw on Twitter people were like, "Oh, look at him! He's got American flag. He's a white supremacist." He seems we like he just America. likes to have fun. Be like, "Hey, you like yeah. the tie? Hey, look, get on in there and see the flag. It's got all the ah, oh, it squirts. Ah, see, gotcha. I got you. I like to have a, uh, a joke." Yeah, but don't grandpa worry. energy. I love it. Yeah, don't worry. It was just a gas bomb. It was just a yeah. gas bomb. I mean, no, your, your upper lip uh, in a few minutes, you might want to keep an eye on that because it's going to disappear. <laughs> oh. Sizzle, really. <laughs> Who's right. not gone down to the quick stop and lit a dumpster on fire? We've all been I there. I mean, can't, haven't we all done let that? Let he who has not throw the first Molotov cocktail. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Throw it back in the car like those, uh, what do you call them, guineas in a Bronx tale. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. Yeah, I yeah. can say that. I'm part Diego. I can't say that. I am part, I'm part WAP. Not not to be confused with oh. the gross vulgarities from that, uh, that, uh, Singer that baby. Megan horse. Yeah. <laughs> Somebody call on the horse whisper. Sure, get, get, get her to stop talking. That'd be great if it was Megan the Stallion or whatever song on his phone. It's just <laughs> booty music. <laughs> It's like ass, titties, ass, and titties. <laughs> it's like, oh, let me shut this off. Hold on. Ass, ass. He's like, oh, I'm sorry. I, uh, I apologize. apologize. <laughs> All right. Uh, hey, by the way, do you remember, too, the reason Kyle Rittenhouse went down there? Keep in mind, Don Lemon was just saying, I don't know why uh, you know, Kyle Rittenhouse went. What if, what if people went to, what if Black Lives Matter went down and burned stuff? Uh, do you remember when they covered all of those protests and the riots in Kenosha as mostly peaceful? Here's just a flashback. What you are seeing, the common theme that ties all of this together is an expression of anger and frustration over what people feel like has become an all too familiar story <laughs> playing out in places from across the country, not just here in I Kenosha. Mostly peaceful. Those demonstrations in Kenosha have been mostly peaceful in recent days, mask. and Jacob Blake's family is among it's those calling mask. for nonviolence. <laughs> Our Mola Lenghi is in Kenosha, and he spoke to people gearing up for the president's visit there. Yes, Mola, let's go now to walking. Very penis with teeth. What are people saying? Yeah. 
Well, Vin morning, Diesel Tony, a lot of dying. different views, as you can imagine, on the president's visit here to Kenosha today. You know, some folks we spoke with welcome the president and say that he can help heal and unify this community. The last night was very peaceful. Tuesday night, not quite so peaceful, but it wasn't too bad. Oh, Monday yeah. night was our, was our big night. Big night. And keep it, when I've talked about the deck being stacked against Kyle Rittenhouse, what are we talking about? The media? We're talking about big tech? We're talking about being booted from GoFundMe? We're talking about being booted just my tweets in support of him on Facebook, let alone at the time being booted from just being able to post his side of the story or anyone posting his side of the story. We have the president of the United States who compared him to a white supremacist, and we have the FBI who sat on footage and didn't allow it to be released until it really, really became an issue. M imagine being that kid. And also the DA is uh, relatives with the mayor. Yeah. Well, imagine being that kid and still appearing innocent. I know. Yeah. <laughs> I know. Even that's with all of that special against you. I I mean they just really must have nothing. You usually no. think like you know how they say you can indict a ham sandwich, you can try. Well, I guess Kyle is more is more Teflon than a ham sandwich. <laughs> so here you go. The media labeled Kyle, just to be clear, when Don Lemon is talking about how this guy was being praised, the media and the president labeled Kyle Rittenhouse because they can never forget this when this kid is not guilty. They labeled him a white supremacist before they had any facts. Here you go. I don't know enough to know whether that 17 year old True. kid uh, <laughs> mm -hmm. exactly what he did. But allegedly he's part of a militia coming out of the state of Illinois. Have you ever heard this president say one negative thing about white supremacists? Yes. A 17 year old. Like three different things. Several there. times. Arguably a domestic terrorist picked up a rifle, drove to a different state to shoot people. You see Wrong. a 17 year old who was radicalized by Trumpism took his AR-15 to Kenosha and right. became a killer. He's sucking on a lemon head. Not a hair on any of them. 17-year-old <laughs> being held on suspicion of first-degree intentional homicide. That is weird. I guess the sulfuric fires of hell singe everything off them. Yeah, they do. Mm, it's strange. Yeah. In advance. Yeah, it's like spawn. <laughs> He's like, I don't have all the information on this. I'm only the president. Yeah, but I will put him in a campaign ad uh, yeah. using him of being a white supremacist. <laughs> yeah. I think that there obviously should be grounds for mistrial with prejudice. And what does that mean? Prejudice yeah. means they can't charge him again. Why? This jury is, every single attempt has been made to intimidate the jury, not only from, from the media, but you've seen it actually taking place directly right now. There is a conscious effort to try and intimidate them and make sure that they know unless this kid fries, there will be riots in Kenosha, not to mention the National Guard has been put on standby. That's a veiled message to be sent that some, you know, look, it's in your hands if you want your city to burn, jurors. Um, protesters are outside the courthouse as well right now. Of course, almost like uh, Don Lemon was saying, uh, what if they were out there trying to take yeah. justice into their own hands? Mm. It's almost like that's happening yeah. from the people he supports outside of the Kenosha courthouse, uh, which, by the way, they also tried to burn down uh, back then. Well, uh, yeah. But they're doing it right now. No justice! No peace! Okay. Oh, in shut lockstep, down, I guess. Yeah. Oh, weird. If we don't get it, shut it down. <laughs> okay. I like the OK sign poster. That, yeah, was, a lot of work went into this. It was pretty well done. Yeah, it's pretty good. Uh, here's also a man who claims to be George Floyd's nephew. Nephew, I couldn't confirm nor deny, but, uh, you know, seems like an asshole. So uh, I don't know. Yeah. Um, but, uh, you know, I would bet. Uh, he's the Something nephew about saying that they needed to take photos of the jury. This was out and publicly available. More intimidation. I ain't even gonna name the people that I know that's up in the, in the Kenosha. I mean, in the Kenosha trial. But there's cameras in there. Yep. It's definitely cameras up in there, and there's definitely right. people taking pictures of the juries and everything like that. Bum, we bum, know bum, what's going bum, on. Bum, so we need the same bum, results, bum, man. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Tell me what you're going to do when it's <laughs> no the way to hide. It looks like Crazy Bone. Does it's it? not yeah, even it does. Crazy. Yeah, okay. yeah. All right. <laughs> At all. It's not pull Crazy Bone. I'm out Favorite of, band. I'm you're out not of, a fan? I'm out of touch with that See culture. you at the crossroads, crossroads. You won't be long. You, you know where they play the, play the it, fiddle? <laughs> no, it's not really. So and here's I'm another one. Uh, Charles, Judge, <laughs> Judge Schroeder actually said, uh, too, this is well known. It was confirmed that people were, in fact, trying to film. So we have no justice, no peace. If we don't get it, shut it down. We have the National Guard uh, right there on standby. We have, allegedly, uh, George Floyd's nephew saying that we have people who are going to take pictures of the jurors. And then we actually have confirmed evidence that the jurors were being filmed where the judge had to shut it down. Here you go. This morning uh, at the pickup, uh, there was someone there and was video recording the jury, which... Uh, the officers approached the person and required 
him to him, her, I didn't even ask. They. To um, delete the video and return the phone to him. Um, I've instructed that if it happens again, they're to take the phone. Why aren't they arresting these people? I don't understand it. Yeah. Arre- if they are Isn't deliberately filming the jurors, it's a crime. Arrest them. I, I'd like to say my point of this, where I thought honestly when this happened, because of all the media that was coming in, that he was a white supremacist mm-hmm. who went there to shoot black people because that was the narrative. And I actually thought until the trial that the person who was shot was a black person. Now that I've watched the trial biasly, uh, <laughs> I do uh, realize that... Uh, I was completely misinformed, yeah. mm-hmm. and I would assume that he would be found innocent, and the only way he wouldn't would be through complete intimidation of the jury. Yeah, that's well, I think it, it takes, a, or if you believe two pixels. Yes. Now, see, that, that takes a, that takes a lot of guts, though, to do to say what Dave just said. Now, unlike I'll just say it, Anna Kasparian over at Young mm-hmm. Turks, who said the opposite of the truth because yeah. she was doing the reporting. I know I said I wouldn't address him since I buried Chank, but it was such, to me it's it's, Chank. It's like, look, 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 look. The issue here is not. I get that you apologize when you're wrong, like Dave just didn't say I was misled, but. I don't understand how Anna Kasparian at the Young Turks, like she said, Kyle Rittenhouse was chasing Joseph Rosenbaum, white supremacist. But here's the deal. Your chasing job is to reverse. report. Yeah. Your <laughs> job is to report. And at that point, and you said this many, many, many times, you see this on the left, yeah. there, there was hours of footage to prove it incorrect. Yeah. No footage has ever existed to substantiate those claims. So I don't understand how they got it that wrong unless it is a completely useless medium right now. It's a completely useless job yeah. for someone to claim that they're a journalist to be able to go out and say white supremacist, to be able to go out and say militia, cross state lines, which was said many, many times over and over and over and was chasing these people. How did you ever justify that if you are in charge of reporting? Dave is saying, I listened to the reporting. I realized I was wrong. The yeah. reporting was all wrong. That's the whole purpose to this show. That deserves high praise. What doesn't is when you're the one reporting. Watch Louder with Crowder live Monday through Thursday, 10 a.m. Eastern.